Gear Wrench has a new mechanics creeper out because some things can't all be done on a lift. Every now and then you find yourself under a vehicle on the concrete and let's admit it, it's just not fun to lay on a piece of cardboard anymore. Now the last creeper I bought was, well, I'm not sure, but here it is. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, man, that's pretty cool, those retro early 90s NASCAR trucks on there, but it wasn't retro when I bought it. And you can see it's kind of past its prime and it's had its better days, so it's time to go out the window for sure. And it looks like this gear wrench, and it looks like this gear wrench composite creeper should last me a long time. Now, the new 41 inch gear wrench creeper is a composite unit and in itself is the frame. You also see here you have the EVA pads for here under your back that kind of starts under your shoulder blades and works on down to your mid and lower back. And you have a little bit of a thicker pad here uh, for your head as well. These are pretty firm, but again, that does provide some comfort and the contours kind of keep you, or the contours kind of keep you in bounds, if you will, kind of keep you in the boundaries. Now, here's some unique things on this creeper that you don't see on others. And that is these metal tabs on each side of the head. Uh, so they provide basically a, a place for your magnetic lights to go. And actually I use that uh, on a job I was doing uh, a couple of days ago where I actually stuck my magnetic light there and it worked very well to, to slide under the vehicle and it cast that light up where I needed it to. I could adjust it and that light stuck there right on that metal. The other thing is the magnetic trays on each side of your body here where you can keep your gear wrench riches or some sockets, ratchets, what have you, uh, maybe even some small parts in these magnetic bottoms here that basically run the full length of the tray uh, so your tools and parts and pieces here will stay there and they're not going to roll off and, and roll away from you. Now the Gear Wrench Creeper has six casters uh, that support the 300 pound capacity and it works very well, rolls around very easily. I was even rolling over some extension cords which aren't fun to do but it was able to do it. Uh, you'll see that there's basically a two and an eighth inch ground clearance here from the bottom of the unit to the ground and then the board itself is about an inch and an eighth as well. So in total, you've got about three and a quarter inches that is how much more clearance you need than if you were just laying on your back on the concrete. So really that's not a lot there. So you're adding a three and a quarter inches uh, that you need to get that off the ground further. So still a low profile, very comfortable creeper. Looks like it's gonna last a long time. Now this does run uh, a little over a hundred dollars and there are some cheaper units out there they may look similar, but I will tell you, all those cheaper ones, I did not find any that had the magnetic trays and the steel plates on here. And you may say, you know what, that's not a big deal, but I will tell you, it's a pretty big deal to me. It was nice to know that those wrenches do kind of sit in there and, and sit pretty nice there. They kind of stick very well to the magnet, uh, as well as the magnetic light sticking here on the, on the metal plate, and it's there when you need it. So check it out at GearWrench.com. Again, it's the GearWrench Mechanics Composite Creeper. Be sure to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.